Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! Welcome once again to another exciting episode of Cut the Tape. Today's show will focus on Masterpiece, and I have quite the selection for you. I am Rick Alvarez. Let's begin. Today I have Jabber, FT39 by Fans Toys. This is Masterpiece Blur. This is MP44, version 3 of Convoy, also known as Optimus Prime. This is an official Takara Hasbro release. This is third party. They are both fitting in the Masterpiece world, so we're going to open the packages, we're going to compare them, see how they're packaged differently, and uh, we'll have a conversation about it. Let's start, let's start with Jabber. Alright, so this is how I got it. Uh, came individually wrapped in plastic, which I think is a nice touch because... It protects the box. Now, I'm not really big on keeping boxes of third-party toys in pristine condition. So, this uh, this plastic film, while certainly appreciated, I'm just going to toss it out. Alright, this. This is the price. I'll keep this box nice. So, it's, uh, it's a non-window box. It's very glossy. It is... Seal it on both sides. What I like actually is that, here, check that out. See that? That's the mark of quality. What I'm pointing at right here, that's a sticker that seals the box and it actually says Fans Toys on it. That is exceptional branding. So, let's open this up. Man, you know, third party, just looking at this box, third party really has come a long way. It's got a great view of the product on the back it's got images of other products available from fans toys it's got a bio you know it's got a upc label it's got information about the website you know age suggestions recycled materials made in china third parties come a long way since like garage upgrade kits all right, let's cut the tape. Going in, nicely done. I'm gonna flip my blade over so I take the uh, non-sharp side. I'm gonna press that against the flap and open it. And the reason I do that is I don't wanna crease this flap. I don't wanna stick my finger in there and like, you know, bend this. Wow, so just by like, I didn't even take anything out of the box, but it is just a, that is a pungent odor of styrofoam. So this comes packaged in styrofoam. It's pretty securely in there. Uh, instructions, it's a nice booklet and a card. They come sealed. See that? It's got fans toys tape on four sides. And look. It's even got branding on the styrofoam. It's little details like that that I appreciate in any toy, regardless of who makes it. Hasbro, Mattel, Fans Toys, stuff like that. Like, All right, so here we have Jabber, and he's actually got a nice layer of film on him to protect him from any scuffing during packaging, uh, during transit. So he comes with alternate face, he comes with blaster, he comes with target master, 
and he comes packaged in robot mode. Now this robot mode, oh, look at this. There's a hidden blaster. There's a hidden blaster here, a long blaster. I think this is the one that was in the Transformers the Animated Movie. All right, so he's got a nice weight to him. A lot of die casts in it. This, this is in scale with the more recent Haztec Masterpiece figures. All right, so just looking at them, looks pretty good. I definitely want to look at the instructions when I transform this guy. I, there is a part of me that loves transforming figures for the first time without the instructions to try and discover all the little nuances in the engineering. But something like this, because A, of the cost, B, it's, it would be a hassle if I had to go get another one of these. You know, It's not like I can just go to the store and pick one up. It's got a quality control sticker on the bottom of it. I like that. Doesn't matter who made it. Somebody put some love into this. It's got a nice weight to it. Really, really nice weight to it. Let's put a blaster in his hand. Now to me, Autobots are primarily right-handed because I'm right-handed. And Decepticons, being evil, are left-handed. That's an old, uh, that's an old uh, observation. Not, not really an observation. It's more of a, it's an old myth from Victorian era or the Renaissance, wherever. The joints on this little Target Master, it's all ball joints, but they're really tight. And I like that really really tight joints on that ball on the balls joint of the target master all right let's put jabber right here for right now you know what it looks like there's a little yeah i said i wasn't gonna transform them not i just want to flip out the bottom of his feet so he stands better there he is yay and there was much rejoicing. Yay. All right. Easy peasy. Now this. Ooh. I've been waiting to open this. All right. All Japanese on the back. Uh, to me, that's a little surprising. Takara knows they're going to export a certain number of these. There's a certain percentage that they plan for to say, hey, this is what the uh, foreign market's going to take, be it North America, England, uh, rest of the EU, and other places. So to me, it's still a little surprising that there is not any English on the back of this, except for saying Cybertron Commander Convoy. Transformers Masterpiece, and that's really it. It's a nice box. The box, and this is just initial observation, the cardboard on this particular box seems a different grade from previous Masterpiece figure cardboards, from official Masterpiece figure cardboard. Yeah, see, like, just doing this, the box, just by squeezing the box a little bit, look, I could, I could fold it if I wanted to. You know, all the money you spend on something like this, it's a little unfortunate that that is the case. But, all right. So, right off the bat, there's no styrofoam, which means the box could get damaged easier in transit because it comes in a plastic sleeve. All right, instructions and a card sealed in the bag. Standard fare. And while this is easier to manufacture and it's better to recycle should you get rid of the box, 
it still is never going to be as firm as a styrofoam insert. And even if they got away from plastic, there's a way to engineer a cardboard insert so it would be much more durable than this. So let's see where this is taped. Because this is a large figure, it's heavy. There is tape on three sides of this clamshell. On two sides of the narrow part. So before, you know, I just got this. So before I even got this, I was trying to avoid any spoilers because I really wanted to see how this was packaged. And I think, you know what, if this had been, if the trailer had been opened and the robot mode had had been pack, packaged in robot mode instead of vehicle mode, I think we could have a smaller box, which would save a everyone a little bit more on shipping another thing as you can just see the pieces shuffled in here as soon as i moved the, the clamp the top of the clamshell a little bit you're not going to get that with uh with styrofoam again you know we should all be striving to go a little greener but it's just an observation i'm not advocating for uh for styrofoam just an observation Okay, so we have a trailer, and this is definitely the nicest trailer produced. You know what? We'll display the whole thing in vehicle mode. So unlike our Jabber, it comes in vehicle mode. It has a ton of accessories. It comes with spike, Carly, spark plug. It comes with roller. This is all new tooling. Two alternate heads, the backpack. It comes with the inside of the trailer. It comes with the Energon Axe, as well as uh, a stand for the Energon Axe. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It comes with the Energon Axe. I guess a peg. Okay, so a peg comes out of the Energon Axe to connect it. It's got um, blaster effects. And it comes with the standard issue convoy blaster. A matrix, jetpack, little, uh, little damaged area where Megatron puts the shard in in the Transformers animated movie. So, I forget, did Megatron come with that shard? Well, if they release a, another Masterpiece Megatron, then it should come with the shard. All right. All new tooling. Very cool. So, looking at this, instantly, you know, wow. This jabber feels like it weighs more than this. Than just the convoy cab. The convoy cab, it, it, it may outweigh the Jabber, but like the size of it is so much bigger than Jabber, it feels like this should weigh a lot more than it actually does. And normally, I don't think the weight would bother me on it, but just because I was handling a different figure, which seems to have a lot more metal on it, the weight is instantly noticeable. So it's got some plastic film in it. Let's see, we'll take that off. It looks like it's there to protect the arms. Uh, it looks like I actually have to transform it in order to remove that. And because this is an expensive figure, I am gonna take my time to transform it. Let's see how this looks. It 
looks good. It looks really good. I very, very, very rarely keep any Transformer in its alt mode. It's always robot mode for me. Always. Always, always, always. Because it's about the character. The story comes first, and then the toy. So a mediocre toy can be elevated to new heights if it has a story behind it that is really good. So sidetrack, a very mediocre toy, you could say, is Razor Beast from Beast Wars. But that character, as portrayed in the Beast Wars comic books, that was amazing. I love the way that character looked. I really wish I could have a Cybertronian mode of Razor Beast. And uh, I've even thought about uh, having uh, the Beast Machine's basic uh, thrust, which has that big wheel in front. It's the motorcycle with the big giant wheel in front, customized into a Razor Beast. So we've got Blur. We've got Optimus. And we've cut the tape. Now we transform. So, we'll make that, we'll do that another day. I'm actually gonna go play with, with Jabber. <laughs> I've been, this guy's been sitting on my uh, shelf, on my opening shelf for like, uh, for like two weeks, just staring at me, waiting for this guy to arrive. All right. Thank you for joining me on Cut the Tape. Uh, don't let anyone ever tell you what to do with your toys. If you have an old toy and you want to open it, whether it's from 1984 or 2019, doesn't matter what it costs. Cost is a perceived idea. Cost is it's only worth what someone's willing to pay for it. Don't let anyone tell you not to cut the tape. If you don't want to cut the tape, don't cut the tape. But don't feel bad if you do. All right? It's your toy. Enjoy them the way you want to enjoy them. So with that, thank you very much. And remember, be kind to each other. And there's always time to cut the tape. Bye.